Hey there plant enthusiasts, welcome back to the Garden Center. Today we're going to talk about the enchanting world of ferns. Did you know that ferns are one of the oldest living things on earth with a history spanning over 300 million years? These captivating plants have graced both indoor and outdoor spaces in that time. However, when it comes to indoor care, it can get a tad bit tricky. So today we're gonna go over some tips and tricks to help you with your ferns. Back in the Victorian era, ferns took the interior design scene by storm. As interior gardening became more popular, ferns were hybridized to create hundreds of new varieties. And guess what? Most of those varieties are still around today and you can find them here at the garden center. What does it actually take to take care of a fern? Well, let's get into it. Ferns thrive in really humid conditions and normally live in tropical places. So you want the humidity around them to be around 40 to 50 percent. This can be hard to reach in places such as Colorado where our humidity is quite lower than that. That doesn't mean you can't have ferns in your home. There are a few tricks that you can do to help your fern stay humid and moist. Ferns prefer consistently moist soil and this is a must because of their humidity requirements. So daily waterings might be a requirement for your fern. If you're still struggling for your fern to get enough humidity, try placing a humidifier in the same room or next to your fern to add some humidity to the air around them. If daily waterings aren't necessarily something you can fit into your schedule, you might want to pick up something like a bird nest fern, which can go a few more days in between waterings and are a little more forgiving if they dry out. Let's talk about ferns light requirements. In outdoor spaces, ferns can survive in more shady environments. However, in indoor spaces, you want to place your ferns in a more indirect bright light. You want to avoid direct light because their little leaves can get burnt and we don't want that. Now let's jump into potting your ferns. When looking for potting soils, you want to look for a fluffy mixture that has lots of organic material. The dynamic duo of fluffy and organic material helps retain the moisture while also having some drainage, which will help avoid the dreaded root rot. Most standard houseplant mixes will do the trick, and in fact, we have lots of them here at the garden center. We recommend this one. It also contains peat moss, which will provide nutrients for your ferns and also help retain moisture, which your ferns will love. Now let's talk about pots for your ferns. You may be drawn to the most pretty terracotta pot. However, terracotta will pull moisture out of your soil, and that is something your fern needs lots of. So we recommend that you go with something more of a plastic pot or a ceramic lays pot, which will retain moisture more efficiently. When choosing a pot, you want to make sure you're accommodating for future growth. However, you don't want to go too big and make sure you're only choosing by, based on the size of the current root ball. Um, don't go based on the foliage because then the pot might be oversized for the current root system and they may get waterlogged which can lead to root rot and that's never good. Once you've chosen your specific fern type, stick to that carotene and watch it flourish. Here at the Garden Center, we're happy to help you come up with a specific carotene for your fern. Just come in and talk to a team member. If you have it, a crash course on ferns. If you have any more questions, make sure you leave a comment below. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel because we post weekly gardening videos. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you later of new varieties. Oh my god. <laughs>